So, even though I'm playing in a bunch of lumber, uh, I've really got nothing yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is dry, I'm gonna go give it another coat. Before any more dust blows over here. If I give it a coat, I'm gonna take a break. stuff goes but it definitely goes somewhere. It absorbs like nobody's business. I'm in cracks. This may take longer than I thought to seal up. It don't take a lot of oil, it just takes a lot of time. And I've put three coats on it. Still got quite a bit left. Even soften it on. Going back and touching other pieces up. absorb a lot. The ends absorb a lot. The cracks absorb a lot. Ain't the best lumber. Been out here for four or five years. It is good and dry though. I wonder if I could build a big pressure chamber or a vacuum chamber to uh, make this go faster. Make the wood want to suck it in. It might be a good, good idea for as much as this I'll be doing in the future. kind of treatment on all my greenhouse floors, uh, my chicken coops, anything that comes in contact with the ground or manure. Or leave the rag in there now it's soft all the way through so it ain't gonna make a squat keep it from drying out too much it eventually gets hard I do know that so I've already been out here this morning several times and keep just keep laying the oil to it it just keeps taking it and uh, I'm hoping Eventually, it'll get all of it at once absorbed up in it. I'd like to see a really good seal on it. The more it absorbs, the better it makes me feel. If it just keeps absorbing it, I'm going to have to give up on it. But for today, I'll keep rubbing it in as much as I can. Especially these ends. They really absorb a lot. I'm definitely going to have to get some sawhorses made up. Um, I 
I'm going to be doing a lot of this. And once I get it burnt, I can stack it and not have to worry about cleaning it or anything. And uh, it'll stay good until I get ready to seal it up like this and use it. So I'll have to build me a, gotta build me a place to start stacking this stuff. What I like about it, you can see all the alligator skin stuff still on this wood. You gotta look close. I mean, it's still there, but it's so dark. Everything's so dark, you can't hardly see it. No, this only takes a couple minutes to do this. I'm gonna try to get some more lumber over here and get them all burnt and ready. That way I can just keep going and going and going until one of them finally is finished. I can keep getting ahead on the lumber I need. I need a little bit. Oh, these are the floor joists for the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and get them burnt. The other one is the runners are still taking oil. So... Uh, I want I want something that's going to last. I decided that I'm not going to play around with this anymore. I'm going to do the best I can on every build from now on. And this is a simple way of treating and preserving the wood to make it last longer. I mean, some of this stuff's already 50 years old. So uh, we'll go from there. Ninety-one degrees out, and I'm playing with fire. Wind keeps switching, switching directions on me. So to get that really, really good alligator skin looking stuff, you got to burn. And it don't even do a real good job then. But at least I'm getting a good deep char on it, I know. So I'll just, this is going to take a lot longer than I'd like. But hey, it'll get done at least. So I've got some, I think this was red oak, post oak, white oak, no it's red oak, it's white oak. Uh, it's just a mixture and it looks to be like oak's going to be the hardest one to actually char so far. The cedar worked great but this, this takes a lot more. So you can see how long this takes. Uh, that's just half the board. And uh, this oak's going to be a pain, but it's going to be well worth it because the tree was probably 100 years old when it was cut down. It's been cut down for 50 years. And uh, hopefully I can put it into another 50 years by doing this and saving it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and burn some more. And then once I get them all burnt, I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like when I'm brushing them down. So I'll get all this burnt. So it takes a really long time to get these charred. So 
I'm going to start brushing one and let you look at it. Oh, it's charred good. Oh, once it chars in, it's charred. There's not a lot of grain that don't char on these. So I may not, I may really not have to go as deep as I thought on some of them. I mean, that looks, that one's just one little touch. And it charred really good. Yeah, I think I'm going to try a different wheel, though. I think I'm going to go get a wire wheel and give it a shot. See if this will go a little faster. This is kind of slow. Nah, I think I'll just go ahead and do it this way. That way the cracks get filled up.